physical separation, Houston. As the shuttle turns away from the International Space Station. Like a proud parent, we anticipate great things to follow from the men and women who build, operate, and live there. From this unique vantage point, we can see a great thing has been accomplished. Farewell ISS, make us proud. NASA is also saying goodbye for now to manned space flight. The space agency will launch satellites and Earth science missions. But already behind the schedule they created, NASA administrators were reprimanded by Congress for not having a plan for manned flight in place. I hope I can bring you something, you know, with, with all deliberate speed, but with all deliberate speed in this town, uh, sometimes is not as fast as we would like. Budget cuts have eliminated the Constellation Moon project and opened up the next generation of low-orbit ships to commercial contractors. Uh, we have to make huge improvements in both the cost and the reliability of, of space transport. And I think that really can only be done by the private sector. SpaceX is considered the current leader in a race between four companies hoping to be the first to develop an astronaut-rated ship. The target date for the next manned mission is three to five years, an aggressive goal. But the last man to walk on the moon doesn't believe there's any way private industry can take such a huge step so fast. The commercial sector is, is, is still walking around like a, like a young kid learning to walk. They don't, they don't know what to risk are. They don't know yet what they don't know. And many fear those who do know. NASA scientists, engineers, analysts, and technical personnel will be squeezed out of the new equation. Two, one. At its height, the shuttle program employed nearly 13,000 people. Roger roll, Atlantis. When Atlantis's wheels roll to a stop and the final mission and 30-year run is over, only 300 will remain. As the focus now shifts to deep space exploration, targeting a trip to an asteroid and Mars in the next 20 years. Now, NASA will still travel to the International Space Station. The Russian Space Agency will ferry more than a dozen U.S. astronauts at a cost of almost $63 million a trip. Jay Gray, NBC News, Kennedy Space Center.